today we're at the Longfellow house it runs right along these tracks those lead to the old mini ha ha depot well, this seems to be an old original sidewalk leading to this house I don't know who Longfellow is Here's another one of these thingies. You scan that thingy. Maybe you can learn more than what I know. The Longfellow House is not open to the public. To learn more about this historic site, please check out the audio tour sign at the front of the house. Okay. Well, this is the front yard and it's fenced. This fence just goes to the edge of the front of the house on both sides. But I seen another sidewalk leading around the back. Oh, there was some steps there. So we're gonna walk around the back. We'll stay out of this Longfellow guy's grass. And we'll stick to the sidewalk. See, there's where I was gonna head. There's a place up there. And that happens to be named after this place, apparently, because it's called Longfellow too. I think it's called Longfellow Garden. But that'll be a different video. Here's his mailbox. Here's a leave a book, take a book thingy. Oh, yeah. There's a nice back patio. Plenty of benches for sitting. A flower box. There's some of these weird green Kia cars here. So somebody must be here. Looks like stuff inside's all in boxes. Like it's all packed up. At least from what I can see from the windows. That looks like the same sign that was on the front. Oh yeah, there's people sitting inside the house. So somebody has access. I don't know how we get access. But there is people in there. I see two people. Huh. Well. Like I said, I don't have access. It says it's not open to the public. So they must be some curators or something. If you did want a picnic in front of the Longfellow house, there is two picnic tables out here. There's just no barbecue. But he got two picnic tables out front, just across the train tracks from his front door. See you next time.